Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. Today in this video, I will discuss about weekly timer. Open your PLC software. On the left side, scroll down, go to timer category and select weekly timer. Click here. So this is our weekly timer and add comment weekly timer okay if you see there are no inputs only one output and we can enter three number of requirement or conditions so what this weekly timer is whenever you want to turn on an output at a specific day and specific time I mean real time then we can use this weekly timer block to turn on an output or turn off an output the one thing you have to remember is the PLC must have an inbuilt real time clock only one output right so our current one output so this is my output so go to the block properties if you see there are three sets set one set two set three now we will discuss one set all are same just as per our requirement we can enter different uh, conditions let's suppose every monday okay at nine o'clock so remove these ticks at nine o'clock i want to turn on an output and at after one minute i want to turn off the output for simulation purpose i am just reducing the time so what is the condition we can sell it a different days also no issue multiple days I am just using Monday. On every Monday, irrespective of the year or month, every Monday at 9 o'clock, output will be on. After one minute, output will be off. So we will test this one. Okay. Now start the simulation. We can see the current time in the PLC also, or you can click this clock icon we can see the date and time of the plc for testing we can change these values right now what is the day it is 2nd february 2025 sunday what is my configured uh, day monday on every monday nine o'clock so for testing purpose i will change the date and i will change the time 8.59.52 okay now it is Monday and time is 8.59 at 9 o'clock output will be on see at 9 o'clock output is on again after one minute output will be off you can wait and see the result I will just change the time for testing purpose now at 9 1 output will be off so this is how the plc controls an output based on the specified day and time monday tuesday wednesday like that now we will see another case on every sunday at 11 o'clock I want to turn on an output okay but I no need for any off time I just need continuous on so at 11 o'clock my output will be turned on okay now change the day I will just use uh, 2026 and I will see May Sunday 17 so 17 may 2026 it is sunday at uh, what is the logic at 11 o'clock 
here. Sunday, 11 o'clock, output will be on. Off time is not mentioned. That means continuous on. So 10, enter. 10, 59, 55. Okay. So at 11 o'clock, my output will be on. Okay. On every Sunday, my output will be on. There is no off time. I will change the time to 11.30. Still output is on. 11.50. So, there is only on time is mentioned. You can also mention the off time. On every Sunday, I want to turn off at 11.51. Okay. If you scroll down, 11.51 is updated. This is the off time. Second one is the off time. So I will change the time at 11.51. See, at 11.51, output will be off. So this is how we can use the weekly timer on the specified day and time day means monday tuesday wednesday like that we can turn on or turn off an output we can use total three conditions if required otherwise you can use one or two based on your requirement let's say on every tuesday wednesday thursday at 11 at uh, say 15 3 pm i will turn an output and 15 10 after 10 minutes i want to turn off an output okay so tuesday wednesday right you can scroll down and see tuesday wednesday thursday 15 00 15 10 that is the timing and day so i will use i will change the time now i will use 2028 20, and i will select uh, 24 this is Wednesday, okay, and I will select the time also, 15, 15, right, so I will enter 14, 59, and 55, okay, so at 15, at 3 p.m., output will be on, after 10 minutes, output will be off. So I will increase the time, no need to wait. So at 15, 10, output will be off. See, now I will change the day, 25. That says time is 15, 5. Output will be in which state, in this period, will be on. So it will be in on immediately. Okay, this is how we can use the weekly timer. One of the application is school bell system. Let's suppose my school start time is 9 o'clock morning. So on every working day, I can select 9 o'clock. My bell will be started. It will rang for 1 minute or 10 seconds, depends on your time. Like that, you can turn on the bell automatically at 9 o'clock during lunch period and at the end of the day. And this is one basic application. Share with us how you can use this weekly timer in daily applications. Okay, through the comment section. Also, if you go to the block properties, there is one option. Let's scroll down, pulse output. If you said that the off will be disabled by default pulse will be generated as an output okay okay so if you check it only one time the pulse will be generated the pulse is not visible to us it is very less time so what you will do take some other blocks and connect this weekly timer output to that block and then check the pulse make sure the pulse will be 
set or it will stay there in the another block for testing purpose only so that we can see with our own eyes that pulse is generated test the logic and share with us how you use it or how you tested the logic means pulse output how you tested the pulse output share with us thank you i will meet you in the next session